Hi, I'm Pat Prokop out in my heavenly backyard garden. It is now May 24th. The lilies are almost in full bloom and the dahlias, wow, they're beginning to put on a show as well. Mother Nature's putting on a show too up in the sky. Got some thunder in the background. I want to get this video made before the rains come. How about a tour of the garden? Let's go. All right, we're looking at the garden now from the western side, looking more or less toward the east, toward the fountain. And as you can see, lots of blooms coming on throughout the area region. And, well, there's the telescope. It's covered up because up there we got some thunderstorms developing and looks like rain coming into the area once again. I haven't had the telescope out for the last two weeks because of the clouds, but it's also great for photography in the uh, for the flowers in the garden. And there you can see... Uh, the uh, a fuller view of the garden and this portion of the garden as well. Lots of day lilies uh, in bloom and some Asiatic lilies as well. I got a row of begonias over here on a walkway and uh, gloriosa lilies. These uh, uh, right here, these red flowers are perennial. They grow year after year. They're vining uh, of plants. They like to grow up on vines uh, and, and attach themselves to things as they grow upward but they put on a show. Boy, I tell you what, if you look at them closely, if you actually were here to touch them, uh, they feel like wax. Uh, those red petals feel like wax. So they just laugh at the sun, by the way, because of that. Here's some of my seedlings that I've been experimenting with. There's the Coffee Bluff Weather Station, by the way. And, and there's the uh, anemometer up there in the wind vane, and the, it measures the wind speed and wind direction. Meanwhile, the uh, garden here. These are some of the blooms from the cross-pollinations that I've been doing over the last couple of years. Nothing fancy, but I like to watch them. The vegetable garden has been harvesting a lot of broccoli and cauliflower. The cauliflower now is done. Uh, the tomatoes, they're doing very well, and in about two more weeks it looks like I'll be having tomatoes. I've got some green peppers, bell peppers as well. But looking back into the garden, uh, turning around, there's an empty pot. I need to fill that up with something. Uh, a shrimp plant there. More uh, daylilies here. Uh, again, those are my seedlings uh, that I've been playing with over the last several years. These zinnias here, uh, these are called Hidden Dragon. And I started them from seeds from Park Seed Company. And they're putting out a pretty good show right now as well. And, and the thing about zinnias, the, um, they basically laugh at the sun. So that's a good plant to have here in the savanna area. Let's take a little walk further across through the garden right now. I'm going to zoom it out so I don't get you too seasick walking too fast. But uh, there you can see the garden. Um, this portion over here, these are a later blooming variety. They're uh, mostly orange in color, but uh, they'll be blooming in about another two weeks. And some others beginning to bloom in that portion of the garden. Uh, this is a, a one that's called Lime Peel by Pat Stamilli. Uh, looks like limes, I guess. Uh, but it's called Lime Peel, it's one of our favorites. And that one right there, that's called Green Inferno. I love that uh, spider variety type. And additional daylilies across my yard. There's the fountain. Um, the water, water lilies haven't started blooming yet. They're on the way. A little bit more over here. Lots of daylilies. Um, uh, a Jan Joyner daylily, this pink mauve color one called Splashed with Stardust. You, you agree? Splashed with Stardust. All right. Well, I tell you what, that uh, cool breeze coming in on the back side of that thunderstorm is really beginning to feel pretty good out here. Oh, if you're ever going to get a daylily, you had to have one yellow one. This is a good one to have. It's called Elba White Grow. Elba White Grow. And uh, it blooms early and it repeats blooms about two or three times throughout the summer months. Gloriosa daisies here. I, I talked about the dahlias earlier. Take a look at here. Look at these dahlias. This uh, uh, maroon color dahlia, that one there is called Envy. And you can see why. It is the size of a dinner plate, hence it's called dinner plate type dahlia. And I have other dahlias beginning to bloom as well. Uh, you can see them over the garden. And
more giant to middle size dahlias here. Here's a nice view looking back up at toward the garden. There you can see it right there. And I'm just going to shift over to the what we call the cement bench right over here. And I'm going to show you the view that I have sitting on this bench. As I come over here, Hi, can you see why I like sitting on this bench? Nice view, huh? Let me stand up a little bit so you can get a better perspective there. You can see the paths and the garden and the flowers and the telescope undercover. And I'm going to leave you with the fountain. Hope you enjoyed the tour. Bye.